big part of your team with Red Rooks and going out in Houston week. But how does it feel knowing that he's coming back next year? Yeah, well, first of all, yeah, excited. Uh, it's good news that he's coming back. He told me a couple of weeks ago that he thought that was probably what he's going to do, and it's good that he went ahead and made the announcement today and, uh, publicly. And so, you know, I'm glad to have him back. I think it's, you know, I think it makes sense for him to come back. Um, you know, I know he wants to get his degree. I mean, it's important to him to do that. And he's excited about the team that we're going to have a chance to have next year, and you know, and I think he wants to finish his career the right way. So we're hoping that, uh, you know, he went to the doctor today. Uh, I haven't heard anything yet on, on how his uh, x-ray looked, but you know, we're hoping that we can you know, potentially get him back, you know, potentially play in the bowl game. So we'll kind of see how that plays out over the next couple of days and in a week and a half and see where he's at. You've, uh, you've got a little bit of time before the bowl game, um, but how are you looking to tune things up with guys like in, with Coach Cause? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a really important couple of weeks for us. Um, you know, number one, it's an important time of the year for, you know, academically. Uh, you know, guys start final exams here in about a week and a half, and uh, reading week starts next week. And so that's always uh, an important you know, part of the year for your players. And at the same time, you've got to do a good job in the weight room maintaining size and strength. And then we've got to figure out a time between, you know, recruiting and, and uh, all the stuff that's going on to get practices in as well. So it's a busy time of year for coaches, busy time of year for players, just a lot of stuff going on. And, it's funny, you think when the season ends, things slow down a little bit. It's, it's almost like you get more busy when the season ends. And so uh, it's been a, been a crazy week. This, this week will be crazy as well, just getting on the road recruiting and then also trying to get as much practice time in as we possibly can, trying to get ready for the bowl game. So for the last bowl game, is like literally just right down the road. This time it's all the way in Florida. So are you worried about fan base being down in Florida? Or well, I mean, I, I think, I mean, I think the further you play away, uh, the, you know, the, the further away you play, rather. Um, you know, it can be hard for fans to get there sometimes. I mean, I get it. It's a, you know, it's kind of a short turnaround. We didn't really, you know, the, the it's one of the early bowl, bowl games, and so travel can be tough. And, you know, we've got a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of people that are going to be in final exams, students, and, and kind of a busy time of the year. Uh, but, you know, we'll have, we'll have a good fan turnout. We always do when we go on the road. Um, you know, our, our fans really do travel well. and expect a pretty good crowd for the bowl game, and, you know, and our players are excited, I think. You know, it's the first time we've really had an opportunity in a while for the, for uh, you know, for guys to, to go away to a destination and have a chance to, to get away and you know and, and celebrate a good season. And I think in a lot of ways that's what a bowl game is about. It's about you know about young people having a chance to go see some place they've never seen before and and uh, you know have an experience they've never had before. And, and so that's what this whole thing is about. And as we've told our players over and over again, you know, they'll look back on this experience positively if they play well in the game. And if they don't. To look back on it is not a real positive experience. So it's really important for us to, to prepare well and play well and, and try to win the football game. And if that happens, then you know the rest of their life they'll have a have a fond memory of it. Spoke a little bit about recruitment. Um, obviously, early signing period coming up. You can't obviously tell anything yeah. specifics, but generally, how are you feeling about early signing? Period? You know, I feel really good. I mean, I think that you know we've got a we've got a good solid base of recruits that have been committed to us for a while, and then. You know, and then we're trying to go close some really high-profile players here down the stretch, um, and that's the you know that's kind of the way that, that our recruiting I think will play out in, in years to come. Um, you know, where you know we'll have about half our class will commit early, and, and that'll be kind of the base uh, the basis of our class, and then you know we'll chase you know some of the top programs in college football you know down the stretch for some guys year in year out. And, uh, you know, we're going to recruit a couple of junior college players this year as well to give us some immediate depth in a couple of positions and then obviously you know we'll use the the transfer portal as well to to fill in where we need to fill in so a lot of moving parts right now um, you know we're always going to build our our team with high school players I and mean, we have to that's the that's always going to be the backbone of your program uh, but, but the great thing about being in Dallas is there's a lot of kids that want to come back and um, and so there's you know we feel interest all the time from from kids that went off and played someplace that, that want to come back and play in front of friends and family and so there's a lot of that stuff going on right now, so there's a lot of balls in the air, but we're, you know, we think we're going to finish really strong. Uh, we'll sign probably three-fourths of our class early, and then probably in the fourth we'll end up signing in February. Looking back on this season, what's been the most rewarding part about coaching this group of guys? Well, I think just, you know, just to see the group start to become confident. I think that's one, one thing that, that's fun as a coach is when, you know, you, you kind of, you got to get to know young people and, and they're, you know, trying to figure out who they are and trying to figure out who you are as a, 
is a football team and is a football program. And it's it's fun to see them start to have a little success and then gain some confidence and just see how they how they change and um, you know and kind of grow into to confident young men and and confident football players. And it's fun to you know it's fun to see that maturation take place and to be a part of that process. That's one of the things I always enjoy the most is you know just seeing guys grow up um, you know and how different they are. Uh, from the time that you first meet them and when they uh, graduate. I mean, so I've only been here for two years, but it's, it's amazing how much some of the guys have changed in the two years, you know, we've had a chance to be together. So that's the funnest thing, I think, and just seeing how the guys really uh, start to take pride in, in you know, their, uh, their team. Um, you know, they start coaching younger guys and they start to take pride in the program. And that's, that's always fun to see that take place as well. Um, for the past few days, we've seen the team at like FCU basketball games, Dallas Mavs. So, what was the idea of those appearances? Well, I think we're just trying to, you know, uh, number one, they enjoy being around each other and getting out and doing things and getting in front of the community. And so, you know, we thought it might be fun to get them get them to the Mavs game. You know, the guys had a blast last night. Uh, you know, being there, a lot of a lot of, a lot of guys it was the first time they've ever been to an NBA game. And so, um, you know, we just want to try to make everything about about you know winning and being successful. As, you know, try to make that as positive experience as we can by doing things like this as we start preparing for a ball game. And um, so it's always fun to reward the players with, with, with things like that. And fortunately, we've got some some great donors and supporters that allow us to do those kind of things. And and um, it was a lot of fun, guys. I think had a good time last night. And Mavs didn't play great for three quarters, but had a heck of a rally. Had a heck of a rally at the end. So it was it was a fun uh, fun game to go to.